All right, so beginning. Everybody thinks they hear the word beginning in Jesus. They automatically assume Jesus is a creature. Well, let's dive in to see what this word means. RK, it may mean beginning, origin, ruler, authority, principality. Beginning, origin, ruler, authority. Notice, notice how Jesus is all of those. Uh, the Greek word RK primarily denotes, denotes the concept of beginning or origin. It is used to describe the starting point of something, whether in time, order, or rank in a broader sense. It can also refer to a position of authority or rule, often translated as ruler or principality. This dual meaning reflects both the temporal and the authoritative aspects of the term. Nor does this say, used in context, the son is the beginning as in he's, uh, he's a creature. This means he initiated creation. He is both... He is both the temporal and authoritative aspects of the term, right? He is the origin of creation. He started creation. He said go on creation because he's before creation, right? Look in context of Revelation 3.14. Uh, that by which anything begins to be the origin, the act of cause, the light, like John 5.22, John, uh, 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 John 1, uh, Genesis 1, the light, the life-giving energies, God's energy, the unfathomable energy that creates all things. Look, Christ is the divine creator, He's the divine initiator. He's the divine origin. He's the divine uh, engineer. He made the he made the divine universe. He made the universe, but the engineer was before that. So, Revelation three, fourteen, one of the most well known verses that may be twisted to the utmost to fit a cult narrative. Um, they think since it says. The verse says Jesus in beginning. They automatically assume, via zero context, that Jesus uh, Jesus, be a Jesus is a creature. Jehovah, 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 the uh, beginning uh, of creation. Yeah, right? It's what, you know what the that means. It's like Colossians one or Colossians one sixteen, just like John one three. Uh, the word RK means uh, origin, source, uh, right? Origin or source or authority. It can mean authority as well, right? Revelation 3.14 doesn't mean the sun was created and then all creation is after him. It means the sun started creating. The sun initiated creation. The sun is the origin of creation. The sun, uh, 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 this divine idea, and he started divinely crafting creation. That's what that means. It doesn't mean the sun was created. It means the sun began creating. The sun began creating. That's what it did. He started making all things because he, in order to make all things, he had to exist before all things, not all other things. Now notice, it doesn't say the beginning of creation, all other things after him, or the beginning, uh, all other, or the beginning of all other creation. Like, you know, uh, it doesn't say that. It says the beginning of creation, right? New World Jehovah's Witness, they make a contradiction now because it doesn't say the beginning of uh, all other creation. It only says that Colossians one sixteen. It doesn't say that in John 1.3 either. All things came through the sun. All the sun made all things. The sun was granted by John 5 or John 5 26, the life, the life-giving energies to create all things. He has authority over all things and he creates all things. And in, in order to make all things and create all things, you have to be the origin of all things. Therefore, if you're the origin of all things, you had to be before all things. Therefore, Jesus is uncreated and he's eternal and he's not a creature. That's what beginning means. That's what RK means in context of Revelation 3.14. That's what the context means in uh, Colossians 1 16. That's what uh, the, the context means in John 1 3. Nothing exists unless it's, uh, 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 if, if the sun wasn't there, if the Logos wasn't there, nothing would exist. Because the sun is before existence. The sun is before our uh, creature existence. The sun's always existed. If you, are, if you are the beginning, beginning of creation, you'd have to be before creation. If I make something and I finish it, if I make something and I finish it, right, I'd have to be before. I'd have to be before something. If I finish something, I'd have to be before it. If I make something, if I if I if I if I go and I make I make a lighter. I'm doing all the all the all the divine engineering and stuff, and I make a lighter, right? I'm the origin of this lighter. I made this lighter. I didn't really. It's from Timu, but I made this lighter. Let's say, how could I make the lighter if I wasn't if I was uh, being made like this lighter is. This lighter is creation. Jesus is uncreated. Therefore, Jesus can make all things, right? That's the only way that would work. Only way that would work. If Jesus is a creature, he'd have to be the lighter. He'd have to be the creation. He can't make himself. If, he, if all things come from Jesus, 
and he's a creature, all things can't come from Jesus because Jesus is creation. Doesn't make any sense. Jesus makes creation, therefore Jesus is before creation, therefore he's eternal, infinite, uh, beginning, endless, uh, the beginning and end, Alpha and Omega, first and last, therefore he's eternal and he's uncreated. That's his substance. That's what that means. That's what beginning means. He's the beginning, he's the origin, he started making, he started initiating creation. In order to initiate something, you'd have to exist before it. This isn't a, 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 a Bluetooth timer where you have everything set. Jesus initiated all things because he was before all things. Therefore, all things are made through him and for him. Right? All things. Therefore, he's before all things. Therefore, he's eternal for a hundred times. All glory to Jesus.